How's it going guys? Sheepdog88 here with another firearm review. Today we're looking at the Remington 870 12 gauge. Uh, this isn't any any ordinary Remington 870. It's a tactical and I made quite a few modifications to it. Uh, it's pretty tactical right now. I'm going to go over everything that I added to it or changed to it. To start off when I bought this shotgun it was still a tactical model so it already came with the breacher choke tube with the threaded muzzle it already had the two round magazine tube extension and up top here it already had the uh, excess rail in case you want to add any kind of red dot and it comes with the ghost ring sights the rear sight is adjustable and you got a uh, front sight as well instead of just having a bead sight they actually give you a pretty solid front sight that's dovetailed in alright um, so starting off uh, the furniture First thing I changed out on this shotgun is going to be the, uh, the the forend and the stock. I, I went with the Magpul stock because I think it's very, very comfortable. It When I hold it, it feels almost as if I'm holding a pistol grip shotgun, but it doesn't have a pistol grip. Right here, you can see it has this little rubber groove for your thumb. It's very comfortable, but it has a good angle to it. Very comfortable stock, lightweight. Uh, you you get spacers with it. You get about four or five spacers right here that you could add to extend the length of pull. You get a real soft rubber butt pad on it. Very comfortable. And right here, I don't have one you could see, uh, is a little slot in case you want to add a single point sling attachment. I don't have one of those on there right now. Um, for a sling, I actually bought a uh, two point sling. I'll show that later in the video. That's normally how I run it. But you do have the option of adding a single point sling attachment. Magpul does offer that. And then moving up front to the forend here. Again, very comfortable. The standard pump or the forend on the Remington 870 that it comes with, I mean, it's okay, but it kind of tore into my hands. I would uh, shoot it a bunch, and after a while, I would kind of rough up my hand a little bit. So this one's a lot more comfortable. But you still do have uh, ribbing right here, so your hand's not going to slip off. And also you have M-Lock slots in case you want to attach any accessories. So overall I'm very happy with the Magpul furniture. Pricing, I believe this was $35 and I want to say this was about $100. Uh, I got this about three years ago. I'll have to check again, but I believe this was $100. Alright, so moving on up. I know I wanted to add a flashlight to this gun. This is my home defense shotgun. So I definitely wanted to add a light to it. I went ahead and got the Streamlight ProTech HL. This is the original one. Uh, it is 600 lumens, but now I believe they even have a higher powered one that's around 700 lumens. It has three modes on it. It has high, low, and then strobe. Let me go ahead and cycle through those to show you. So you can reprogram this too, but mine I have it where the first click is high, where you get the 600 lumens. The second click, oops, if I can get it here, I'm sorry, the second click is strobe, the third click is low. So the third click I have in the low, where I believe it's about 100 lumens, and then you've seen the double tap where you have strobe. So a uh, really solid flashlight, I mean the, the construction of it's great, it's uh, aircraft aluminum, it has a rubber button right here at the end to turn on. Awesome, awesome flashlight. I own, actually own quite a few of these. I have some of them on my ARs as well. But I'm real happy with it. Um, and then when I have the shotgun shouldered with my thumb, I can just go ahead and activate it right there. Um, the mount I have is a LZ mount. This mount is awesome. Uh, I bought this online. I think I, I can't remember what website I bought it on. But I'm very happy with it. It has uh, three clamps on it. One clamp for the light itself, one clamps onto the barrel, and then one clamps onto the magazine tube. Now you do have to be careful when you tighten this on. If you tighten it too much, it will actually squeeze the metal a little bit so your magazine tube spring and follower won't move freely. So just make sure you don't over torque these down. Um, but it's solid on there, it's not going anywhere. Easy to change the batteries. I could just remove this cap right here to change the batteries on the flashlight. I don't have to take it out of the mount but I can uh, remove it from the mount very easily too if I choose to. Um, this mount, kind of expensive again, I want to say is about 60, 70 bucks right around there, but it is rock solid. 
Okay, then my uh, my next accessory or modification upgrade I did to this shotgun is the side saddle. This side saddle holds six shells, um, and it is a Tag Star, Tag Star for the Remington 870. This I picked up at Cabela's. I want to say for about 30, 35 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. Installation's real easy. All it is is you remove the two pins on the trigger, the factory pins, and you get two more pins and uh, a screw up top to install. So very easy to install. The tension on it's really good to hold the shells. I mean, it's not too loose, it's not too tight, it's easy for them to get out of there, but they're not going anywhere either. Um, right now, let's see, what do I have? I have two slugs, 12 gauge slugs, and then I have four rounds of buckshot. And when I keep this, this is my home defense gun. When I keep, I keep this loaded, I keep six shells in the tube and the chamber empty. That way, if anyone does, you know, break into my house, all I have to do is rack around in there. And that noise is, should be intimidating enough. If it's not, uh, someone's getting hit with some buckshot. So great home defense firearm is a shotgun. This is uh, definitely a lethal firearm. They offer non-lethal loads for it, but double odd buck is going to be devastating at close range. And then I have slugs in there in case I have to make a, a longer shot or anything like that. I have two slugs. Nice thing about a shotgun is the reliability of it and the wide variety of ammunition available. So right here, uh, this is a Winchester double X buckshot. It's three inch. So I believe you get 12 pellets instead of nine on most two and three quarter inch shells. But I have, I could fit six shells in the magazine tube uh, that are three inch. If I'm loading two and three quarter, I could fit an extra in there. I could have seven shells in one of the tube. But uh, since I have three inch shells, I get one less. But I believe that's plenty. One thing about this gun, when you have it fully loaded, it is heavy. It does have some weight to it. Um, if I had to say, it's around probably around 12 pounds, so it does have some weight to it. It's not going to be as light as AR, fully loaded. But nice thing you get with the shotgun is uh, reliability, great for home defense. Like I said, the sound of the slide racking is very intimidating. Should be enough to scare any any intruder, anyone up to no good trying to break into your house. The sound alone should be enough to scare them away. And if it doesn't, uh, the double odd buck should be enough to put anything down that's trying to harm you or your family. So let me go ahead and grab the sling that I have for it. Okay, the sling that I have for this shotgun uh, holds ammo. It is a Ares Armor sling for it. Let me go ahead and show that. Uh, it holds about, I want to say it holds about 20, 24 shells on it. Very good quality. Like I said, Aries Armor. I have it in Atax camo, I believe. It's got an adjustable pull here to adjust it. And how it connects in the front, I have a sling, sl sling swivel attachment that goes right up here near the uh, end of the magazine tube. And then the other side just goes into the Magpul buttstock. It goes right down in here. I attach it through there. So I've shot with this before and it adds a lot of weight. It is too heavy. Um, I probably am just going to get a regular sling for it, something that's light. This I just kind of bought because I thought it was cool. This is more of your, you know, uh, shit hits the fan, zombie apocalypse type thing that you could carry with you. But as far as practical sling, I really don't recommend it. I mean, it's nice if I take all the shells out of it. It's nice, but it's a good way to carry ammo as well. I could grab this and I have, you know, 20 shells. And right now I got slugs, uh, about half of slugs and half buckshot loaded up into it. Overall, very good sling. But I see a lot of guys looking for upgrades to do to their shotgun. And to me, this is almost the perfect setup. If there's anything that I would like to add to this would be the finish. The Remington 870 shotguns are, I believe they're park rise finish. And it's not that great of a finish. I did take this out shooting in some light rain. And when I, by the time I got home, there was surface rust all over it. I was able to clean it off with some CLP and some uh, a very fine steel wool. But I was pretty, pretty.
pretty angry. I was pretty pissed off about that. And then I see that uh, Remington now offers a Magpul Edition one, which is very similar to this. Few things are different, but it comes Cerakoted. It's quite more money when you buy. It's, I want to say, around $750, where something like this is around the $550 mark. So about $200 more, but you get a, a Cerakote finish, which is a much better finish. So if I were to do anything else to this shotgun, I would probably go ahead and get it Cerakoted. Uh, I would take all, strip it down, take all the accessories off it, get my barrel Cerakoted, my receiver, and my magazine tube. Also, right now, I just have the standard factory magazine tube follower, that bright orange one. A lot of guys change them out for an aluminum one, but I've had no problems with it, so I'm going to leave it the same for now. Trigger, I don't plan on doing anything with the trigger. Uh, and then optic. I might get a red dot. Something like this, I was thinking about getting a Bushnell TRS-25 uh, for the price. They're about 100 bucks. They're a pretty decent red dot. But I'm worried with the recoil of the 12 gauge, how that how that's going to hold up. So I'm going to have to do a little more research. But if I do any other upgrades or modifications to this, it's probably going to be a small red dot and the uh, Cerakote finish. I think that would be pretty good. Um, what I can do too is I also could change this front sight out. And I could get a uh, red fiber optic front sight for it. But... To be honest, I don't shoot this gun that much anymore. Uh, it mainly just sits in my safe, and just in case if anyone breaks into my house. I have took it to the range a few times, shot some clays with it, uh, done a few drills with it. But mainly, it just sits in my safe, so it's kind of a shame, actually. I need to get out and shoot it more. But overall, very, very good gun. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty sweet. This is probably the only gun in my collection that I have completely set up. I'll, I'll get a lot of firearms and plan on doing a lot of stuff to them and as soon as I get enough money I'll end up just buying another gun instead of cl completing a build or so I need to I need to start doing that more instead of buying guns I need to finish the guns I already have as far as you know accessories optics but this shotgun I have completely set up I'm very happy with it I could leave it just like it is right now um, if I want I could go ahead and just Cerakote it get it a red dot, and then it would be complete. But right now, I'd say it's complete, too. Uh, this is an awesome gun. i go ahead and show the other side here. Um, one thing, too, I see a lot of guys will strip the finish off the bolt and polish it. And for a tactical gun, I'm not going to do that. Maybe if this was a nice uh, hunting gun or something, I might go ahead and do that. But for home defense, I'm, I'm going to leave the bolt carrier alone. It works great. Awesome gun. Oh yeah, this uh, muzzle too. Let me show you this. So this is a breacher choke tube. But nice thing about it, uh, the barrel is threaded. So you could go ahead and remove this. Just go ahead and screw this off here, this breacher choke tube. And what it is, it's still full. It doesn't choke it at all. But you have the ability to install choke tubes now. You could go ahead and put a modified, you could put a, a full. I'm sorry, this is a smooth bore. I don't know why I said full. But you could go ahead and do that. That is a nice feature about this shotgun. Most short barrel, home defense, tactical shotguns do not come with a threaded barrel. So that is a nice thing about this one. But overall, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much everything I went through on this shotgun. Great gun. Also, if I didn't have a Remington 870, I'd probably get a, a Mossberg 590 A1, Mossberg 500. Those two shotguns are great for home defense. Very reliable, a lot of aftermarket stuff out there for them. They're affordable. I mean, you could easily spend two grand on a, a semi-auto or an over-under shotgun, but your good old short barrel pump shotguns, you could find around $300. A lot of times the manufacturers will do additional rebates and stuff like that, so you could pick up a shotgun pretty cheap. And if you're looking for a shotgun for home defense, you could buy a plain Jane shotgun off the shelf, and it's going to work just fine for you. You don't have to go ahead and add all, excuse me, add all this tactical stuff to it. You could buy a stock Remington 870, a stock a stock Mossberg 500, and it's going to work great and it's going to do the job. This is kind of the stuff that I mean, I just like adding to it. Mainly, I really like the flashlight. That's probably the first thing I would do. Then the furniture, um, the Magpul furniture. Well, actually, probably then first the side saddle. That'd probably be the second upgrade, and then the furniture last. But definitely have a weapon light, you know, for home defense. You don't want to shoot your 
family member, you don't want to shoot your friend, a neighbor, anything like that. You want to identify your target before you pull that trigger. Because uh, once you pull that trigger, there's no going back. So you must be able to identify the target before you fire. That's what's great about having a flashlight. Make sure you get a high quality flashlight too. I mean, these flashlights, you could find them anywhere from the lowest I've seen them is 50 bucks. The highest I've seen them is 100 Usually right around $70. You can pick them up on Amazon for $70. But get, a, get yourself a quality flashlight that's very reliable. Um, I would say Streamlight. I've had great luck with Streamlight. However, Surefire is another good brand. But for me, I kind of like Streamlight a little bit better. Uh, I've just That's what I've always owned, and I've always had good luck with them. Like I said, I, I own quite a few of these, uh, this exact model, this flashlight. Uh, I have one on my AR. I have one just next to the bed uh, with my pistol. So very good flashlight. But if you, like, uh, if you like my video, if you like the way I set up my shotgun, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. Like this video. Uh, go ahead and let me know anything that you would do different to this shotgun or how you set up your shotguns. Uh, just go ahead and give me some feedback. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.